Hi everybody. In today's video, I am going to show you my creating a character from Headshot workflow because I think I've got it down pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and select this character. I've used this character for another. I've used this photo I bought in another character, but it comes out so different just because a lot of it is hair. But I'll just go ahead and show you this really quick. I didn't record it last time, so I'll go ahead and show you this. So give this just a minute. This takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause this and come back to make this video just a little bit shorter. Be right back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kind of get a little zoomed in here so you can see. So it does a pretty good job of that. I didn't have to do too much. The only thing I changed, I'll go ahead and show you the eyes that I created. I like these eyes a little better. Replace. I've always thought that question was kind of dumb. Okay, but just to kind of see if you can zoom in against the, the that looks just to turn on my magnifier because I have a little trouble seeing a little small thing that you see better than I do. But that's close enough for prime time. The uh, it's good enough for what we're gonna use. Okay, and then now what I want to do is in this I'll just tell you the uh, I'm gonna put a shirt on him. And this pack is the I believe it's the called professional um, outfit. Let me find my shirts. Sorry, there. Okay, and we'll... I'll go ahead and show you. This is the shoes I put on. I mean, these are these basketball shoes. I don't know if that's... Hopefully that's not racist of me putting basketball shoes on a black character, but these shoes look the best, so they're just shoes to me. I just, okay, so I don't know. Those are the, go ahead and put those on, so I was already on shoes. And then we'll come over here, and we will put... Uh, let's see, pants. I don't want to see them. We'll just do that while we're here and I just I probably overuse this pair of blue jeans but to me that's just the most kind of normal set of blue jeans I know everybody else likes to have all these holes and stuff in it but I can't see paying money for jeans with holes in it but I know girls do okay probably guys too I don't know but anyway okay now shirts and then shirts this is where I just choose the this one is my uh, sorry not that one Go to plain base, and this is the. I believe I bought this as part of um, some professional outfit, is where this came from. Wait, yeah, I think that's it. Let me find the. Hang on, no, sorry. Where is the. Okay, I've got shirts, central clothing. Nope, not that one. There. Okay. Plain base and just the t-shirt with the... I don't like the v-neck collars, personally. And fit body shape. Always choose that. This looks better. I've tried the other way and it doesn't fit the body shape. So so that gives us our, you know, just a plain white t-shirt. Now this is part I wanted to show you that I thought was neat. I built this shirt. This is why I decided to record this video. This scene, I believe, comes with icon. Sorry, that's uh, in our way here. Hopefully I have it. We're back to going again, right? Okay, good. Make sure we're not paused still. Okay, this little scene here comes with iClone. So what I did was just rendered this scene out. So just render image. And I cranked everything up to the ultra high D. And then 3840 by 2160 is the size. And I did super sampling. And I exported this image. I already have it. But I put it into my shirts. Uh, yeah, I just called it Dark City. So I've already got it, but you can just export this image, and then we'll come over here to I, I mean, Character Creator, and go to Modify, and here, and I selected that Dark City image, and I thought that looked pretty good for a shirt. Now the thing is, I, the changes I make to the shirt, I change the glossiness way down. I don't know how much, but not more than like eight or ten, somewhere in there probably. And then the specular, I take it way down to like, yeah, somewhere around in the two or three. I don't mind a little bit, but any more than that, and it gets like shiny, and it doesn't look very realistic to me. So that is the basic amount. And then the last thing I put on him was the hair. And I'll just go ahead and show you this hair pack that I recently bought, and I like it now that I bought it. need to go give the person a good rating. I just haven't been back to... Need to go do that though. It's on my list. Let's see. Hair. Sorry, wrong place. There. Okay, so we have our hair. And the hair pack I just bought is called 
sorry, let me, Pix Tim. So I'm guessing this is a person named Tim, but that's just my uh, guess. And the one that I picked is this one. So let me, hang on. Well, I'll go ahead and leave that magnifier on. You can kind of see the picture. It tried to, there, put your mouse over it. Okay, so that's the uh, hair that we're going to apply. So I'll go ahead and just do that. Turn the magnifier off, sorry. I'm not blind, but my vision for seeing little small details is sometimes hard to do. So that's the hair. I don't know. I was trying to make it look a little bit younger. The last time I created a character from that face, it was just a little bit different character. But it is, as somebody pointed out to me, hair is about 40% of appearance. So just having this hair, he probably looks 20 years younger than the other one. I don't know. There's a little bit of gray in the uh, in the mustache there, but not too much. I mean, he still a, looks like a young man, I think. So I was just trying to create some characters for my poker room scene. I'm about to, I wanted to have a character pack to go with it if anybody wanted to buy, I don't know, 10 characters to fill up a game or something. I was going to also try to create five dealers. So that's my goal. So I'm trying to create, you know, now that I had this headshot tool, you know, photos cost me a dollar thanks to stockphoto.com. I mean, depositphotos.com, sorry. I have no affiliation with them, but, you know, for a dollar I can create it. But this shirt was free because... That comes with, not free, iClone cost me a f probably, I don't know how much money I've spent on iClone, I don't want to know, but it's an investment. I feel like I've learned a lot in the last few years, so it's fun too. I mean, it's a lot more. I stare at code all day for programming, so I needed a second hobby for, instead of coding as a hobby and coding for a job, so at least I got two things now. But I think this character looks pretty good. I have in a dialogue. I just got this plug-in from, uh, it's from Reillusion, the hand gesture free plugin. I just watched a video. I haven't even tried it yet, but it looks really cool because that's a lot of times I don't bother some of the hand animations because they're just, they're just hard. You know, if you're trying to put out a long video, it's, you know, it takes a long time to work on every little thing. But now that they have this thing, it looks very simple. You can just, you know, so I'm kind of excited how <clears throat> the iClone and Reillusion tools are, they've improved a lot in the two years ago when I, or I guess it's 2017 is when I first bought I believe a uh, character creator. I bought cra character creator. I mean, Crazy Talk Animator first, then Headshot Tool, and then iClone. And once I bought iClone, I haven't used the other tools once. So I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought the other ones. But that's just buyer's remorse. I have a lot of things I bought. You know, ex girlfriends, wives, all kind of things I bought. I wish I would have, you know, saved a little money. But you get older and wiser. All right. Well, Happy New Year. Today is it's seven thirty in the morning. So I'm gonna try to start my new year and get a lot more done this year, but I said that last year probably. All right, later.